हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टेक्नो एजुकेशन एकेडमी इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस द प्रोसेस ऑफ स्टीम फॉर्मेशन विथ ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन कंसीडर वन के जी ऑफ आइस एट माइनस फिफ्टीन डिग्री सेल्सियस बाय पॉइंट ए ऑन टेम्परेचर वर्सिस एंथलपी डायग्राम दिस इज द इनिशियल कंडीशन ऑफ द सैंपल ऑफ आइस विच इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय पॉइंट ए ऑन टेम्परेचर एंथलपी डायग्राम एज हीट इज एडेड टू द आइस द टेम्परेचर ऑफ द आइस विल इंक्रीज फ्रॉम माइनस फिफ्टीन डिग्री सेल्सियस टू जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस दिस प्रोसेस इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय लाइन ए बी यर यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज लाइन ए बी अप टू पॉइंट बी द आइस विल रिमेन इन सोलिड स्टेट बिकॉज वी नो दैट जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस इज द फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट ऑफ आइस सो एट माइनस टेन डिग्री माइनस नाइन डिग्री माइनस फाइव डिग्री इट विल रिमेन इन आइस फॉर्म अप टू जीरो डिग्री टेम्परेचर बिकॉज जीरो डिग्री इज द फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट ऑफ आइस सो हिट सप्लाइड ड्यूरिंग दिस प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड सेंसिबल हिट सो सेंसिबल हिट मीन्स ड्यूरिंग हिट सप्लाइड ओनली टेम्परेचर इंक्रीजिज और डिक्रीजिज बट देर इज नो चेंज ऑफ फेज इट्स कॉल्ड सेंसिबल हिट सो हिट सप्लाई ड्यूरिंग ए टू बी इट्स कॉल्ड सेंसिबल हिट ऑफ आइस दस अप टू पॉइंट बी द आइस विल रिमेन इन द सोलिड स्टेट आफ्टर पॉइंट बी इफ मोर हिट इज सप्लाइड देन आइस विल स्टार्ट टू मेल्ट एट कॉन्स्टेंट टेम्परेचर टिल द वूल ऑफ द आइस इज मेल्टेड एंड कन्वर्टेड इन टू वॉटर this process is represented by line bc and the heat added during this process is known as the latent heat of fusion of ice so latent heat means during heat supplied temperature remain constant for a particular time and there is a change of phase is called latent heat it is also known as hidden heat and the sum of sensible heat of ice and latent heat of fusion of ice is called total heat of water or we can say total heat further addition of heat after point c increases the temperature of water gradually till it reaches to 100 degree celsius this is known as the boiling temperature of water at atmospheric condition the heating process is uh, represented by line cd on th diagram and the heat supplied during this process cd it is known as sensible heat of water when heat is applied beyond point d this heat is utilized for vaporization of the water and uh, the phase changes from liquid to vapor without change in temperature this continues till water gets completely evaporated into steam line de represent this process the amount of heat added during this process is latent heat of vaporization the wet steam contains some water particles in suspended form it is represented by point e dash on th diagram when heat is supplied beyond point e dash carries sufficient amount of heat energy to maintain all the waters in gaseous state is known as dry saturated steam it is represented by point e on temperature enthalpy diagram now superheated steam is obtained by heating dry saturated steam at constant pressure so here you can see that here we supplied the heat at constant pressure and we are getting superheated steam and we know that superheated steam means in superheated steam there is no any moisture content the process of superheating is shown by line ef on temperature enthalpy diagram the amount of heat added during this process is called the heat of superheat the temperature difference between temperature of superheated steam and that of dry saturated steam is called the degree of superheat 
so degree of superheat means it is the difference of temperature t superheated minus t saturated so this is the overall process of steam formation with graphical representation of th diagram i hope this content it will be helpful to you if you would like to watch this type of more technical videos then please subscribe our channel and also share with your friends